Hey, this is Nick with Obsessed Garage and welcome to OG Academy, a series of short videos where we dive into the more technical aspects of some of the things we sell. Today, we're talking Prevost pipes, how to connect it, and why we use it. Prevost piping system is the air and water distribution system that we chose here at Obsessed Garage, not only for its ease of assembly and troubleshooting, but also its looks and its versatility. Prevost only rates this to be used with air, but we found that it seals and works great with water as well. We actually use it in our custom pressure washer install. So we sell Prevost piping in both blue and gray, and they come in a 33 and a half and a 78 inch length. Now chances are you're going to have to cut this to a specific length. Now in order to do that, there's a few things you have to keep in mind that I will show you right now. So these pipes will actually sink into the fittings or the adapters. Uh, so we have to account for that when we cut our pipes. Luckily, the Prevost tightening wrench comes with a handy little gauge for us to do that. We can simply butt the wrench up on the pipe and then take a Sharpie or a marker and mark that little line right there. And that is how far it will go into the fitting. Uh, and you can measure from that line accordingly to make sure the measurements between your fittings are correct. So we don't actually have to cut these pipes for our specific application for the video, but I'm going to show you how you would do that just in case you have to. So we're going to take our pipe and a pipe cutter. This is the one that comes in the Prevost piping kit that we sell on our website. Place our pipe in to where we would like to cut it. Make sure it's snug and even on there and we can crank down on this. Make sure you don't tighten this too much on the initial turn or else it won't move at all. So we can go from here. We're going to go two rotations, tighten it a quarter turn, two more rotations, quarter turn, two rotations. So you keep going, keep turning it, and eventually it'll pop right off. Now, it is worth mentioning, you don't have to use Prevost's specific pipe cutter for this. You can get any entry-level pipe cutter at Home Depot's, Lowe's, or any big box store. So now that the pipe is freshly cut, we need to deburr both the inside and the outside of the pipe. Since it presses up against an O-ring, if it's sharp at all, it could damage it and cause a leak. We can do this by either using a standard deburring tool like the one that comes in Prevost's kit and some sandpaper for the outside of the pipe, or Prevost makes a specific tool just for cutting and deburring a Prevost pipe. So to deburr the outside, put it in and just turn the tool around. And then the same for the inside. Turn the tool around and rotate it a few times. You'll know you're done deburring whenever you can rub your finger along the inside or the outside and it doesn't feel sharp. Now we're going to connect our freshly deburred pipe to the Prevost connector. First, we want to remove the cap from the end. There's going to be a biting fitting on the inside. Remove that as well. And then you can take out the internal O-ring. We're going to slide the cap on first, followed by the compression fitting, and then our O-ring. Be careful not to stretch this too much or scratch it at all as it could become damaged in this step. We're going to take our compression fitting and make sure the O-ring is aligned correctly near the front of the pipe and we're going to insert both of those into our connector. The compression fitting should butt up directly to the threads. If it does not, that means that your connector is either has something stuck in it or the compression fitting is not notching in correctly as some of them will have notches. We then take our cap, screw it on hand tight, as tight as you can get it, and now we have to tighten them with the wrench. All right, now to finish tightening this cap on, we're going to take one of our two specific Prevost wrenches and we will connect it onto the pipe and lay it flat on the table. If you are working uh, elevated or you're working on the wall, you could brace it against the wall, the ceiling, or just hold on to it. Then we'll take our first wrench that we use to measure the pipe at the beginning. It will notch over the coupler and we're going to cinch it down. Now, since there is an O-ring in here, we don't want to tighten it down too unbelievably tight as it could crush and damage the O-ring. And there you go. That's it. That's how you connect a Prevost pipe to a Prevost connector. 
If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to let us know down below or email us directly at support at Obsessed Garage. Also, if you need to know any technical specs on Prevost Piping System, all of that is available on their website and we will have it linked in the description below.